Welcome to Fenna e-learning. The title of the project is Automatic Identification of Ayurvedic Medicinal Plant Leaf Using KNN Classifier. This is the outline of the project presentation. Let us see the objective of the project. The objective of the project is to design an automatic system to recognize the medicinal plant leaf in Ayurvedic medicinal industry. Averaging filter is used to enhance the quality of the images. After enhancement technique, statistical features such as eccentricity, connected components, perimeters are extracted from the leaf images. In the final stage, K nearest neighbor classifier is used to identify the medicinal leaf based on the extracted features. Introduction Ayurveda is an ancient system of medicine practiced in India and its roots in the Vedic times approximately 5000 years ago. The main constitute of Ayurvedic medicines are plant leaves. So in the ancient past, the Ayurvedic physicians themselves picked the Ayurvedic leaves and they have to correctly identify the medicine leaf. Nowadays, Ayurvedic medicine field is commercialized and there is a need for machine learning technology to currently correctly identify the medical, medicinal plant leaf. Need of the project. In the current systems, humans are involved in co collecting the medicinal plant leaves and they are not professionally trained in identifying the correct medicinal plants. And the manufacturing units sometimes receive incorrect medicinal plant leaves so the medicine manufactured by the industry may be ineffective and it may produce unpredict unpredictable side effects. So automatic identification of Ayurvedic medicinal plants using machine learning approach helps to enhance the quality of the Ayurvedic medicine. So these are the literature papers related to the project. So in the first project, fuzzy histogram equalization is used for pre-processing. So in the work, color and texture features are extracted and SVM classifier is used for classification. The limitation of this work is the identification rate is less, the training time of the SVM is very high. So in the second work, leaf shape, color and texture features are extracted. And the classification of the leaf is performed by using multi-layer perceptron neural network. So the major limitation of this work is standard benchmark database is not used to analyze the quality of the work. So the third literature paper used color transformations and they mask the green region of the leaf and segmentation of the leaf images is also performed and neural network is used for organization. And the major limitation of this work is misclassification rate is high, optimal features are not properly used in this work. This is the flowchart of the proposed method. So we have to give the leaf image as input image and then we have to pre-process the image to enhance the quality of the image. The pre-processing is performed by using averaging filter. After pre-processing step, we have to find the, we have to apply edge detection algorithms. In this project, canny edge detection algorithm is used. After edge detection, we have to measure the statistical features from the leaf images. In the final stage, KNN classifier is designed using the extracted features. So this is the data base used in the project. So the plant leaves used in the project was obtained from Mendeley database. And here we have given the botanical name and the normal name of the medicinal plant leaf and the total number of images used in the project. First image is Rasna image, arrived done to jackfruit, neem leaf, basil leaf, Indian mustard leaf, karanda leaf, lemon leaf, roxburgh, fig leaf, purple tree leaf. So totally in the project we used 669 images and this is the sample images from the database. So the first step is pre-processing. The pre-processing is performed by using averaging filter. Averaging filter is otherwise called as mean filter that is used to, to perform smoothening of the images. 
and the smoothening operation is performed by reducing the amount of intensity variation between neighboring pixels. This is the output of the pre-processed image and this is the histogram plot of the original image and this is the histogram plot of the pre-processed image. After pre-processing, we have to use Canny Edge Detection Algorithm to find the edge details of the image. Canny Edge Detection Algorithm is based on derivative, fil derivative of a Gaussian in order to compute the intensity of the gradients. The Gaussian filter reduces the effects of noise present in the images. This is, this, the, this is, these are the ma four major steps involved in Ga Gauss Canny Edge Detection Algorithm. In the first step, we have to apply a Gaussian blur filter and the second step, we have to find the gradient strength and the direction of the pixels. And the third step, we have to trace the edges use and the fourth step, we have to suppress the non-maximum edges. This is the output image applied, obtained after edge detection algorithm. In the next step, we have to extract the features from the leaf images. Feature extraction is a type of dimensionality reduction where a large number of pixels of the image are efficiently represented in such a way that interesting parts of the images are captured effectively. The reduction of the data helps to build the machine learning model with less machine efforts and also in increase the speed of the learning in the algorithm. The statistical features measured from the leaf images are boundary points, connected components, object area, major axis length, field area of the object, perimeter, eccentricity, equivalent diameter and mean intensity. So in the final stage, we have to design the KNN classifier to perform classification talk. task. KNN is a non-parametric machine learning method and this classification operation is based on measuring the similarity between the new data and the available trained data. These are the major steps involved in KNN algorithm. In the first step, we have to select the K nearest neighbor values and then we have to calculate the Euclidean distance of k number of neighbors. The third step, take the k nearest neighbors as per the calculated Euclidean distance. And the fourth step, among these k neighbors, count the number of data points in each category. And the fifth step, assign the new data points to that category for which the number of neighbors is maximum. And we have to perform classification in the final sixth step. Performance analysis of this work is based on accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. So the accuracy is defined as correctly detected leaf images divided by total number of leaf images. So in our in this project, we have used 669 images. And out of the 669 images, 657 images are correctly classified. So the total accuracy obtained by this project is 98.0597 percentage. Con conclusion. The accuracy obtained in this method is good when compared to other existing techniques. The matching speed of the algorithm is high. Thank you for watching the video. These are the references. Uh, kindly subscribe, share and support the work. Thank you.